thing is, there is no sentence that is non-political. There is no name. Thank you. When the moment we choose a man or a woman, and that's a political decision, we give them a name, we are giving them a culture. We give them a culture, we're giving them a history. Now, it's not possible to be an ostrich. Those who say, we don't want anything to do with it, they're political writers. And the only difference is, nobody calls them political writers because they're writing what's called literature. When those of us who say that there's something fundamentally wrong with the world, and then we try to use the same craft with that world, therefore we become political writers. All writers without exception, therefore, are political writers. Those who want to write love poetry, love is an act of politics, <laughs> for it stands against hatred. In my country, everything is politicized. If, for example, um, you criticize about the um, price, onion price or tomato, they say, oh, uh, this, is, this is labeled as anti-revolutionary things. One of the articles I received, for a fantastic article about satanic verses by a Tunisian written, it was uh, rejected in all newspapers in Arab world. I read it and I found it a fantastic article. I published it and I really received huge emails from Arab world. They said, how you dare to publish it, you are fantastic. And people, first of all, I told them, the fatwa is not Arabic, it's Iranian. I'm not Iranian. <laughs> Well, Khomeini is not my president. So why we are doing all the story about Arab world, Islam? It's not Islam. Mm -hmm. Fatwa is not Islamic. If we want to write a poetry of love, how wonderful your eyes are, how wonderful your hair is, and your home is being bombed, then that becomes an act of treachery to those who get bombed. I remember in poetry in school, um, teachers used to say that this is a symbol of God, this is a symbol of uh, Imam. This is a symbol of, uh, and if they even talking about love, true love, and they dis um, describe like um, the lips of uh, my love like this, the hand is like that. So they say, no, 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 this is an example of um, God and this kind of thing. So um, in my country, everything is, um, is polity. I don't see it somehow that I was preordained to write. I think I was lucky. And I was lucky to be in those societies, not to be damaged by the process of writing, but I saw damage when Walter Rodney was killed in Guyana for just doing something quite different, but political, in an out way, a direct confrontational way. We in Arab world, we, 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 we like to write about things, the Arab author, but we are not free. Was I go back to Saudis, how they control everything in the media in Arab world, everything they make them, Paid. If you want to live with your kids and your family in peace, you have to work and shut your mouth because you have salary. That do we, at the moment of writing, actually, are we really writing a novel, if that's what we're discussing? Or are we really trying to understand a little bit about ourselves? The people who are paying 19 hours, two jobs, and have no time to think and reflect, if that band of people isn't getting smaller because the, the middle class is not growing because of a re recession or whatever reason is going on, we know the society is doing very badly. So I do feel that writers are like a litmus test for the health of a society.